thank you very much for, for coming. Nice to be back uh, in the hot seat playing again after a, a little break. Um, this program today sort of marks the culmination of what I was working on really during lockdown. So it gave me uh, a little bit more creative time. So the culmination of um, a project to arrange some folk songs, I've done a set of 10 in total and also the Bach Cello Suite, which I started in the summer. And I think you've just heard with the pre-concert talk, and Steve was talking a little bit about the slightly more unusual tuning using a C and a G in the bass, which gives the guitar a lovely resonance. So as a guitarist, you always have to choose which key to set various things in. And I decided the Bach Suite would be really, really nice with a drop C, G tuning in the key of C major. So I'm going to open with the Cello Suite, the first Cello Suite.
Thank you very much. Part of the idea for arranging the Bark Suite came from this exploration of various folk tunes. And I got very interested and absorbed uh, in using this tuning, this low tuning in the bass. And quite often when I was tuning up, the notes that I would tune to were the first three notes of the Bach Prelude. So I, I started messing around in that key and thinking it could work really well. And it was an interesting analogy with the sort of origins of the early preludes, which often started from slightly improvisatory beginnings, a little bit like tuning up and checking and playing your way in. So there's a sort of connection between the bark and the folk tunes in many ways. And I chose a set of five uh, using this tuning, starting off with Shenandoah. Uh, then it was Morning Has Broken, Pokare Kare Anna from New Zealand, and then an arrangement of Scarborough Fair, which is the newest of the set. Um, and then the final one, Simple Gifts, the Shaker tune. Sometimes people know it as Lord of the Dance from uh, uh, hymn tunes. And I used to play the organ in a, a local church for many years. So it was a good excuse just to try and arrange some of the, the tunes and melodies which I really enjoyed playing and just to be able to perform them in public. The first one that I composed was actually for a Swedish student of mine called Jörn Löfing, and uh, he suggested um, a Swedish folk tune, which I then arranged for a festival out in Sweden in Arvika. And, uh, and then the, the whole set sort of grew from those beginnings. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to come and uh, play to some people again uh, in real life, as opposed to just virtually. But thank you very much if you uh, checked in remotely for the concert. And um, I'll finish with the final of my set of 10 folk arrangements, which was an arrangement of Vaughan Williams' Lyndon Lee, which is a depiction of the Dorset countryside, something which I think everybody missed a lot during uh, lockdown. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to do something very dangerous, which is to tune my strings back up to normal tuning. And uh, the guitar is a bit of a mystery. Sometimes when the strings are tuned down, they spend the whole time wanting to come back up again. And when they're tuned up, they spend the whole time wanting to go down again. So I'll just let them settle a little bit. This is a slightly unusual little mini encore in the form of what I consider will probably become a folk tune in hundreds of years' time, and it comes from the 1980s. And uh, some of you may remember a band called Tears for Fears and a uh, great singer-songwriter called Roland Orzabal. I think I pronounced that correctly anyway. And uh, I decided to arrange Mad World for various reasons that I thought uh, 
hopefully are reasonably clear after what we've gone through in the last six months. Thank you.